So today I'll be telling you a quick way to recover quicker if you are stuck in your exercising because your muscles are sore, you're weaker than usual, then there is a problem which is you not recovering quickly after a workout session. Now what is the benefit that you'll be receiving from recovery? These tips will help you improve recovery, less soreness, and in turn, of course, you're gonna have more gains and you'll be able to do more volume. It's that simple. So what's the first thing you can do to recover quicker before every workout that will improve your workouts and recovery time? Well, a good warm-up. If you have a good warm-up, I'm not just saying swinging your arms around, doing a couple of lunges, whatever. No, I want you to lubricate those joints. Get the muscles hot, heart pumping, some light cardio. That's good. Okay, that's the good thing. I'm not saying this and then hit the damn work. No, because that will help you. The second thing you can do before any workout is a joint stabilization. The joint stabilization is you just really lubricating those joints, just like I said in the warm up, but this is more focused on lubricating those joints. Because if you don't want to uh, injure yourself, I'm talking from experience, if you don't want to injure yourself, prevent injuries, and have a smoother workout in general then a joint stabilization is for you, my man. So another thing you can do after the workout this time is a cool down, which is just the opposite of a warm up. You slowly decrease the intensity of your workout and then do a couple of light stretches. And that's for you a cool down. Another thing you can do is a cold shower. It's a great way to recover quicker after a workout. Disclaimer, if you want hypertrophy, aka muscle growth, I do not recommend you go in a cold shower after a workout. You need to wait at least four hours after a workout to go in a cold shower. And if you really need to, well, you'll be sacrificing gains for that which you worked hard for or you do it the complete next day or you do it before the workout a prime example of someone who's extremely strong but doesn't look very built doesn't have a great looking physique which is Wim Hof the Iceman if you search him on YouTube you will see uh, that he he doesn't have such a great build, but is stronger than bodybuilders, which is very impressive. So something you can do after every workout is your... Wait, where is my... Ah, there you are, guys. So I was about to tell you what you can do after every workout, which is stretching. Stretching is incredible for recovery. It is one of the biggest and best recovery tips and a side effect is you become more flexible i recommend if you found a good stretching routine repeat it for three times it will definitely increase your flexibility now if you do not really know what type of stretching exercise video whatever you want well i'll be showing you that in the video right here so while i'm talking this is me showing it's very useful so you can also Fumbles from over the area, but uh, where the fuck did you go, guys? Listen, I'm trying to learn you something, motherfucker, and you're fucking up, bro. How the hell did you even get up there, man? Oh, fuck, man. Do you even get up there, man? Crazy. I had to use my vertical jump to get up there, okay? So. Like I was trying to say is, you can use a foam roll. This is next level stretching. 
gonna go over the sword areas and shit and of course when you foam roll it pushes the blood so you have more circulation more blood flow more blood flow the less sore just like when you take a cold shower you get an insane pump and that's why it's not advised to take a cold shower instantly after a workout of course you've got to wait four hours or the next day or before the workout now a lot of people don't own a foam roller so what can you do about it well you can buy one yeah you can buy one okay i'm sorry you can use a tennis ball you can use a softball you can use any object with it you can put a towel over this thing and you can do it and when I use my foam roller, it comes with a ball, okay? You can use a tennis ball or anything. And I really, really massage in those specific areas, remove the knots and shit. And you can even do it with your own hands. You don't have to have a tennis ball, softball, just do it with your own hands. So, how do you really know that you actually recovered? from your exercise well you can do this thing called using grip strength to see how recovered your muscles are so before you go to sleep you test your baseline grip strength you can do this with a, a, a scale a weight scale maybe you can press it down with both hands and see how many kgs of force you're applying to it that's pretty much the best way you can even use uh, any grip strength belt or I went to a sports store called Decathlon and they have got these rubber donuts you close them you close the hole inside and yeah that's pretty much how you train your grips with those things now I don't think you can do it with everything else you definitely need equipment for this one to really know if you have recovered or not but okay you've done it before you went to sleep and then when you wake up maximum 10 minutes after waking up instantly when you wake up i want you to test again if it's lower than baseline like 20 percent less your strength is 20 percent less then your muscles haven't recovered yet of course you can't really be certain with this but I will tell you a better one. Of course, I'll tell you something better than this. Where the fuck did you go? Of course, now I'm gonna go after him again. He's gonna be on the ceiling, he's gonna be like... What the hell are you doing, bro? I'm trying to tell you something. You know what? You stay there. So I was trying to tell you something. Okay, wait. Let me bring my microphone. Listen. I'm trying to tell you how you can do it without any equipment. A better way, which is the carbon dioxide tolerance test, where you breathe in, breathe out four times, and the fifth time you breathe in, and you have to use some, like a timer or something next to you, and you breathe it out as slow as possible. Okay? Wait, don't go. You breathe it out as slow as possible. And Stop the time when you can't breathe out anything. Okay? If you don't sit there with your lungs empty because everybody can do that. And you see how long you have stayed without uh, sorry. You see how long you can go and breathe out. Just 20 seconds your nervous system can be recovered. Okay, and that's just this part of it. If you're breathing out and it's 30, 60 seconds. That means you have recovered, you can exercise, your nervous system can go through more and more um, stress. But if it's 100 to 60 seconds, motherfucker, you're more than welcome. Go ahead and work out. So I guess you're gonna stay there. I'm gonna film the rest of my video. You're a fucking dickhead. You always move around. Why the fuck did you wait out there, man? And finally, 
I will tell you the greatest, bestest way to recover quicker. The number one thing you can do to recover quicker that everybody knows and everybody does every single day but doesn't really focus on it. Sleep. Good night's sleep. If you have good night's sleep, your recovery will skyrocket. I've really seen benefits to sleeping correctly in a correct position as well. Uh, I recover quicker. I am well rested more. I have more deep sleep periods and I'll show you how you can um, really monitor it. I have less acne on my face by sleeping on my back. I know it's very hard, very uncomfortable, but in a week or so, if you do it one week straight, consistently your body will get used to sleeping on your back and you will do it naturally if and the benefits i just told you better recovery less acne on the face pretty much looks natural yeah uh, and uh, i use an app called sleep tracker it really helps to see okay how did i sleep this that that it wakes me up with a smart alarm which slowly wakes you up with louder and louder noise. But the best way, of course, to wake up is to light. A lot of things about sleep are because of the temperature of the room, any noise, light. So sleep in a dark room, do not uh, let temperature annoy you. Okay, temperature around 15 to 20 degrees Celsius, a real cool temperature, and Fahrenheit 62, 68 degrees Fahrenheit. And you can find your sweet spot. I really like my room cold. I don't like sleeping in a hot room. So let's go over the points you've learned today. You've learned that a good warm up. Joint stabilization, cool down, a cold shower, <laughs> stretching, foam rolling, how to use your grip strength to see if you've recovered your muscles, carbon dioxide tolerance check to see your nervous system has recovered, and sleep. Nine points to see how everything is and how you can recover quicker now i hope you have an amazing day pray to god believe in god be grateful for every single moment because you never know what will happen thanks for watching hello this is future me trying to tell you what the actual meaning of this video is what it can annoy me here you can already say how to recover quicker but there's a second hidden meaning running away from your responsibilities running away from your responsibilities as a man you ran away from your responsibilities that's me moving the camera somewhere else every time you running away from your responsibilities is you are responsible for the actions you take. You are responsible for being fat. So, thanks for watching.